Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on May 27, 2023. Indiana funeral director pleads guilty to theft after police find 31 decomposing bodies and 17 sets of cremated remains. Former U.S. diplomat Henry Kissinger celebrates 100th birthday, still active in global affairs. The Independent, Kissinger at 100, his legacy might be mixed but his importance has been enormous. The conversation, Henry Kissinger turns 100 this week, he should be ashamed to be seen in public. The Guardian, Fintan O'Toole, Henry Kissinger's 100th birthday allows us to reflect on a dark century. Ukraine targets Russian oil pipeline installations with drone attacks, Russian media report. Reuters, Russia-Ukraine live news, drones damage Russia oil facility. Al Jazeera English, governor says oil pipeline building damaged in drone attack in Russia's Skov region. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, explosion damages Russian oil pipeline building near Belarus border, governor says. Reuters, explosion rocks southern Russia's Krasnodar in apparent drone attack. Winner of $2 billion lottery jackpot sued by man who claims ticket was stolen from him. Cambodia crocodile farmer torn apart after falling into reptile enclosure. Sky News, Gravitas, 40 crocodiles rip apart a Cambodian man. WION, crocodile farmer torn to pieces by 40 of his own reptiles. The Telegraph, Cambodia crocodile farmer killed after falling into enclosure. BBC, Cambodian killed by 40 crocodiles after falling in enclosure. Pope Francis returns to work after taking day off with fever. The Guardian, Pope Francis pulls out of Friday audiences because of fever. BBC, Pope Francis forced to cancel Vatican meetings with fever. The Times, Pope misses Friday audiences because of fever, Vatican says. The Guardian, Pope Francis resumes regular appointments after cancelling schedule with a fever. DeSantis accuses Trump of moving left as he tells ex-president, you've changed. The Independent, what happened to Donald Trump, DeSantis goes on the offensive. CNN, Ron DeSantis' shaky 2024 campaign launch suffers another technical glitch after Twitter debacle. The Independent, the battle is joined. The Telegraph, express view on Ron DeSantis, Trump light. Serbia's president says NATO-led troops did not do their job to stop brutal violence in Kosovo. Sky News, Serbian border troops on high alert after ethnic clashes inside Kosovo, France 24 English. France 24 English, NATO-led peacekeepers criticized by Serbia after Kosovo violence. Hampstead Highgate Express, UK, France, Italy, Germany and US condemn Kosovo violence. Reuters, US, EU allies scold Kosovo for escalating tensions with Serbia. Russia-Ukraine war live, Kyiv says forces ready to launch counteroffensive. The Guardian, Oleksiy Danilov interview, Ukraine counteroffensive ready to begin. BBC, Ukraine counteroffensive against Russia, ready to beg in BBC News. BBC News, Ukraine shouldn't take the war into Russia but it can cut off Crimea. Bloomberg, the intensity is increasing, Ukraine says first steps in counteroffensive have begun. Asiana Airlines, passenger arrested for opening plane door during South Korea flight. BBC, social media footage shows plane door opening mid-flight before landing in South Korea. Guardian News, plane door opens mid-air. Channel 4 News, man who opened Asiana plane's door in flight was uncomfortable. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.